Hey, my friends, J. Todd coming to you from the Las Vegas Strip, and here's what's happening this week in gambling. This Week in Gambling has been made possible by the online portion of World Casino Directory. Trusted online casinos, hundreds of free games, and one of the largest game databases available. All at online.worldcasinodirectory.com. Hey everyone, Jay Todd coming to you from fabulous, beautiful, sunny, hot Las Vegas, Nevada, where I am wearing a black leather jacket. Yeah, that's using my head, right? I got a great show for you this week, just like always. I'm going to have a couple of special guests on this show. In the second half, someone that every player needs to know about, especially if you play online. He's the biggest player advocate in online gambling. His name is Brian Bailey, also known as Casino Meister. He'll be joining us. And in the first half of the show, a special appearance from our old friend, old bitty grandma, who's got a rant. So... What are we going to talk about this week that pertains to gambling? How about politics? Politics? How do politics and, and gambling go together? Well, <laughs> they're, they're actually like this, if you think about it. Some of these casinos are, are the biggest lobbyists in Washington. Uh, and if you've ever tried to play online poker or uh, casino games from the United States, th then you might know that politics and legal matters can kind of get in the way. So uh, what do my American friends out there need to be thinking about as far as gambling and politics? Well, w we have an election coming up. We're going to be deciding who will be our next president. Now, I, I know that the president of the United States really has not a lot of authority when it comes to things like this. It's more about the, the Congress, right? But, but still, you need to look at what the parties are saying. First, the Democrats. The Democrats have removed every statement about online gambling from the verbiage they've released about, about their plans for the future. There's, there's no talk of online poker or online casino games of any sort. So who knows what the hell they're thinking. But, but the Republicans, the Republicans have come flat out and said that it's their goal, their agenda, to stop online poker and online gambling of all sorts. Yeah, you know, they gotta have their priorities straight. So I'm not telling you how to vote, all right? That's up to you, vote your conscience, please. But if gambling and online gambling more specifically is a priority of yours, you may want to just remember that the Republicans have flat out said they want to completely eradicate online poker and online gambling. With more on this, here's everyone's favorite old bitty grandma with this week's rant. So here comes the Republican Party. How bent on finishing what they started in 2006 when they passed the UIGA? Forget the economy. Forget unemployment. Health care. Wars. Social security. Nah, let's focus on wiping out online gambling. That's a priority. Look, gambling is legal in 48 states. Lotteries are run by 43 states, including Washington, D.C. Billions of dollars in profit are made from gambling in Nevada and New Jersey every year. But the Republicans don't want you and me to play a $5 game of poker on our computers. Talk about having your head up your ass. Wow, I love that woman. We're going to be right back with Casino Meister, Brian Bailey. You're not going to want to miss it. Stay tuned. Follow us on Twitter for breaking industry news, real-time updates, and new videos. Visit twitter.com slash twigfeed. Oh, hit the lights. Oh, hit the lights. Oh, hit the lights. Oh, hit the lights. 
lights are up when we hit the lights, the lights, the lights, the lights. Baby, hold it. So what's going on here, John? Ain't no thing. Play it. So hit the You know, my friends, if you are a player and you play online gambling games of any sort, there may come a time where you run into problems. I mean, in this day and age, a lot of the more established casinos are legitimate. They're licensed. They're on the up and up. But what happens if you can't get your money out or they say you violated a rule or there's some other issue with an online gaming establishment? Who can you turn to? I mean, most of the time you're dealing with international companies, right? Who can help you out the most? My friend, Brian Bailey, also known as Casino Meister, been around for over 10 years in this industry. I caught up with him recently and did an interview about what he does and how he can help you. Okay, players out there, if you're living in like a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? When you don't see things around you, you? A void. A void, if you're living in a void, and you don't know what Casino Meister is, well, you know, you're missing out because there's this online forum run by this gentleman right here, Brian Bailey, called Casino Meister, and it's, it's about steering players to the best places to play online and about helping protect their interests and their money with, uh, you know, today's society, a lot of people getting ripped off. Brian, for those few people out there who may not have heard of Casino Meister, like that's possible, would you enlighten them? Yeah, um, Casino Meister is more than just a forum or just a website. It's actually a, like a conduit between the player and the affiliate and the operator. Uh, we have a forum, like you mentioned, with a lot of people there, but a good percentage of it is, you know, these, these are people that are actually work in the industry. Um, I'm here at the Gigsy, Jigsy, whatever, however you want to pronounce it. Um, I'm here as pretty much a representative of the people in our forum. I'll come here with uh, questions that a lot of players have about the U.S. industry, um, about when they can possibly play legally or whatever, uh, you know, from our U.S. players. And um, so there's, there's a lot going on at Casino Meister. Right. So in addition to great information, you also do advocacy. And if you don't know what advocacy is, it's when perhaps uh, something goes wrong with a casino or a poker room. And you guys not only get people the heads up, but sometimes you're able to perhaps get some of their money back or get some get some resolution on the issues. Yeah. Um, we're an advocate or I'm an advocate of fair play, period. And um, yeah, we, we have a section where people can come and if they have a complaint about a casino, they can go ahead and submit a complaint. Uh, we're able to contact the uh, casino operators or the software provider and find out what's going on and get those people in touch with the right people to be able to solve whatever problem they have going on. And we've, we've solved a lot of problems at Casino Meister. Yes, you have over the years. I've been a big fan of Casino Meister, watched them for a long time. That's why when I saw you here, I'm like, I got to get this guy on the show. So uh, players, you know, watch our videos. That's great. But if you want a tool you can use to help you in your online activities, be safer, play better, have a community, find out where the best places are to go, Casino Meister. Thank you so much. What a great guy. Hey, thank you all for watching. We'll see you next week for more of This Week in Gambling. I'm going to go get one of those $2 margaritas over at Bill's. <laughs> Pass it down.